From the city that doesn't sleep, doesn't stop drinking, and doesn't stop for pedestrians, live from New York's Get Alive Stadium, it's Threats Football. I predict a high body count and a lot of shattered limbs today. Yeah, my last game here, my brain got battered. Spilled all over, Manhattan. To live in this town, you gotta be cough, 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 cough. Hear what I'm saying? And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Diami Crackens battle. The New York Threats. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV oh, and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. There was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there, but other than that, no complaints. They give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second and three. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And now they can taste sound, but... Oh, the defender almost kicked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First down and six. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And it's 
first and ten. I'll say this, the offense is putting together a hell of a drive here. And it's first and ten. is putting together a hell of a drive here and the defense is just getting schooled out there first and two Second down and five. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance. Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I didn't notice that this rough light's talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Second down and long. And the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. First and ten. Second down in a very lot. That's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. Third down and three. He's taken it to the house. And like bricks and bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Somebody get that guy a beer, because he just saved me a thousand bucks. First and ten. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bet. And it's first and ten. And this guy is super. Oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. He's at the forty. The thirty. The 20. He's at the 10. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. 
fuck. If she fat, then I might tap it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Hey, yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. <laughs> and it's first and ten. So the QB just threw the ball away. Second down and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Third down and ten. First down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First and four. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Third down and the punter is warming up. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Oh, 
Oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburner. Punt return. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. the ball get the first down and don't die see it's really a simple game when it comes down to it and it's first and ten good throw good catch but not quite good enough at nine yards And that'll bring up second and one. See that boot, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Third down and ten. And we're at the two-minute warning. I got a pee. Third down and ten. Yeah, and that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. Uh, why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? Pitchkin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! Straight through the uprights! <laughs> when you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight! Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run! First and ten. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? That's a T-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! And big deal. Mr. Meat for Brain Grimm with a ball and didn't fall down. Try me a promise you got the right one. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home 
team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally... And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second and three. He is fighting for every yard, and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice... It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail-biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Wasteland it's been for a while, Brick. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Scrambler. And it's first and ten. They've used a strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys don't get a punch his way out of that tackle. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll be second and eight to go.
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and six. First and ten. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. Second down and a very lot. QB is saying his prayers. Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this rep is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. <laughs> They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Second down and long.
boring but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. Second down and six. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Third and two. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the field for the receiver. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. First and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. No matter how many years in the league, I gotta tell you, this don't get any less scary. Oh. <laughs> 
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. Watch out. The ball carrier's brought a chainsaw to the field. singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. Second down in a lot, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. You gotta take bribes if you're a ref, Bricks. They get paid peanuts next to these players. It's hard to make a decent living. Yeah, even harder when you're dead. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Third down and long. And that's why they call it the money shot. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this out, man. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got an off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the ball. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. He's supercharged. And There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He scores. He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. No matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. And, oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. 
First and ten. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does so he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. Boom! The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Pow! With the brain scrambler! First down and one. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And then a good by the number throw. And those numbers add up to two. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Oh, an awful kick. Good thing his entire family came to the game to see him play today. Must be real proud. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down and more than the QB would like. A punishing hit. And it's first and ten. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe New York delivers a win for their hometown fans. And let's hear what the game's MVP has to say. Yeah, right. The all the advanced cars, million-dollar mansions, endorsement deals, and your beautiful trophy wives, you losers! At least they're not attached to a loser like me. All right, losers, let's hear what the game's MVP has to say. Yeah, man, he's going to get him now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...